Hi and welcome to Creatively Yours, it's Debbie. I have a scrapbook process for you. It's uh, I saw this idea on the channel of For the Love of Paper. Uh, she used squares and I'm using hexagons. And I made a pattern out of it on the left side of the paper. And you see me gluing down some hexagons, not every one, because it takes a long time. Now I'm almost done with adhering the hexagons. I'm sorry if my voice isn't that great, because I am having a cold, so I'm sorry. I'm done gluing the hexagons and I'm going to stitch my title and you're not gonna see it I punched the holes for the title kite flying and I'm using um, all shades of blue and white to stitch the title I'm stitching from white to dark blue. I love how this turned out. And I'm using a picture of my son, Pascal. We were at the beach a long time ago, I think last year. And uh, he was playing with his kite and I love this picture. I'm adhering, mounting my picture on some dark blue cardstock paper and I'm using uh, some Toro pages of um, an old book and some tissue paper behind it to give it a more soft and vintage look. And I'm using uh, a doily which I cut out with my Big Shot. It's a Sissix, Sissix die. I don't know exactly which one it is. If you want to know, let me know in the comments. I will look it up for you. Now I'm adhering my cutout doily And I'm going to try to embellish some of it. I used some old scraps and punched some things out. placing some embellishments. Now I notice that the tissue paper is kind of loose so I should have uh, put it better together but I'm gluing it down right now. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I had this little frame in my stash and I'm going to use it as an embellishment. And I'm using some Sea Life wood veneer 
and I stamped this kite that's from a Holly Hobby stamp and I cut out the kite and I'm using it as an embellishment. I stamped it on um, a leftover piece of book paper the same which I used behind my picture. I'm trying to use this bow uh, it's, a, it's also a die for my big shot but it's not going to work because it's a boyish layout and a little bow is not really boyish <laughs> so I'm going to use it on another layout placing my wood veneer and I'm trying to use this little word sticker such fun but it's not going to make the layout I don't know why but it doesn't I'm using this arrow I try to uh, make this layout a little monochromatic so I only use the colors uh, all colors of blue and white I love how this looks and I forgot the dot above the eye in flying so I punched out some stars and use a little star instead of a dot above the eye. Now I'm placing some tiny word stickers from the Tim Holtz Small Talk book. And I had to laugh with this last uh, phrase, hold tight and pretend it's a plan. Because Pascal is uh, kite flying and he is sometimes really good at it, but sometimes he's not. And we're... Uh, saying to him, hold tight, hold tight <laughs> I'm using some splatters of my gold mist and a puffy sticker which says summertime in a navy color I really love how this page turned out. I love the variegated uh, look of the title. And now I'm almost done. I'm using um, my pearl gel, which is almost the same as Nouveau Drops, um, but this dries flat and the Nouveau Drops will work a little better I think and I thought this looks a little bit like water drops and now I'm almost done you will see some still photos in the end Thank you for watching. Bye bye.